The late Dr. Square was born in Simonstown on the 14th of April 1942. After the family moved to Port Elizabeth, he attended primary school in New Brighton and then in retreat Cape Town. After the family moved back to Alice in the Eastern Cape, he went to Lovedale College. Square participated in school boycotts against the introduction of Bantu education in 1953. The experience convinced him of the need to foster unity among Africans and he joined the ANC in 1956. He matriculated from Lovedale in 1960. Around this time, he met and worked with Governor Mbeki. Mbeki's commitment to action and sound knowledge of rural politics strengthened Square's feeling that the ANC was on the right track. At Fort Hare, he was an active member. When Mandela went abroad to seek military training facilities for the ANC, Square was one of those who mobilized support among the people for Umkonto Isizwe. As MK, we have no choice. We can't leave the ANC. By 1963, he was in danger of being arrested, traveling to Tanzania. He worked for the ANC until he moved to Lusaka office in 1965. The liberation of African countries from colonialism in the 1960s kindled and sustained his belief that one day South Africa would be free. Square returned from exile in June 1960 and was shocked at the deprivation and homelessness of Africans. Since his return from exile in 1990, he has directed the Department of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. Square was first elected to parliament in 1994 and he joined the cabinet as Minister of Public Service and Administration in the same year. He was moved to the position of Minister of Social Development under President Abombeki in 1999. It was when in this department that Square cracked down on fraudulent grants. He is recalled by saying, even in my family, some people don't want to see me since I told them that they are not entitled to grants. After 15 years in the cabinet and parliament, his retirement from both was announced on the 6th of May 2009 following the April 2009 general election. As a result, he was not sworn in for the new parliamentary term. He did not leave politics altogether, however, he remained a member of the ANC National Executive Committee and on the 7th of May 2009, the party announced that he would have a new post working at the ANC presidency. On retiring from parliamentary politics, Square was praised for his immense skills and expertise. In August the same year after retiring from parliamentary politics, Square joined the diplomatic community also becoming South Africa's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom. Lehana Tsoteti, SABC News.